Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Alright, last episode. We did some more side quests in on Windfall Island, finally getting us enough rupees to finish up some very expensive side quests where we decorated Windfall with some flowers to get a piece of heart. We also got some more money uh, to finally do the last auction of of Windfall Island getting us the super sail. So let's point ourselves west. And now, as long as we press A, we can get out the fast sail and automatically the wind will point behind our ship. We don't have to we don't have to manually <laughs> manually set that anymore. That was it's hard to go back, but yeah, in the back back in the old days of the GameCube um, having to constantly take out our Wind Waker, like, to change the direction, like, towards our back got, got kind of old fast. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard, it's very hard to go back, uh, to the old ways. Oh, I got some light ring, so I can pick that up along the way, get some more rupees. Yeah, some very nice quality of life changes. The fast sail is indeed fast. And allow us to get to our destination a little bit faster. Now we got some 50 rubies. We'll find these a lot of these light rings. They're like they're like little breadcrumbs. Um along. there's another one over there. There's probably at least some of them behind. I'm not gonna need rubies for a while, and I'll probably accumulate a lot of them. Uh but yeah, those rings of light, they're everywhere. And I think they made them better for the HD version of the game. Because I remember in the GameCube version, them not being that great. Like, I go through all the trouble of lining up my ship, getting my little grappling hook, getting it out of the water, and then it'd be like 20 rupees or 1 rupee. I'd be like, that's not that great. It was like... <laughs> but in this game, uh, they made it a lot nicer. Like, 50 rupees. And that, that fills up your wallet rather nicely. Alright, so we veered our ship uh, towards the south. We, dra we reached Dragon Roost in a jiffy. Now we're heading south towards our next destination. And there's not that many stops we need to go along the way, uh, but... There you go, but... I will talk to the fishmen and get the map. The map drawn out. But otherwise, a lot of these islands we can't even we can't even touch yet. We don't have the right items to even go there. Yeah. Oh, a small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take you to want chart and information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. Yes, sir. There you go. We've got Fire Mountain. It is indeed a mountain that is on fire. You see that volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you gotta go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's kind of close to Windfall. Can't go in that direction though. <laughs> right now, the, the King of Red Lions doesn't let us go any any direction um, other than straight lines between Windfall, Dragon Roost, and Forest Haven. Well, that's where the power to freeze anything is hidden, though. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. Hint. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Alright. Got the hint, we can leave. There's also a lookout platform there. Uh I'll probably skip it. That is a that is a non-essential lookout platform. So maybe I'll, we'll visit it later. I think I, I need bombs to even get all the treasure on that as well. I think it's like a rupee, a rupee and a gold feather. So it's like not even that many rupees, it's like 10 rupees. So like nothing to get too excited for. Let's keep going south. Every every new area, every new square. There's a new island, which means there's new chart information to get. Ooh, this is should I grab that or should I leave it? I think I think I'll leave this one. This is 200 rupees. 
Um, I'll save it for when I need to fill up my wallet. I will be coming back to this island, though. Hi. Yeah, bub. You collecting treasure there, bub? To see where you can find treasure, open up your map. Okay, we, I have already talked to you like 500 times already. Uh, but yeah, there, there's treasure right there. Hopefully those guys don't find it before I do. Um, you don't have the, the treasure chart though, so technically you can't see it. Hi. No, but yeah. <laughs> what, what chart is that? We got, we got it like... There, there's a little link. Treasure chart 34. Yeah, there's, there's 200 rupees in there. I'll save it. Or when I need the money. Let's go talk to the fish man. Get some chart information. Oi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want chart and information about this island. Start by opening up your sea chart. At Eastern Triangle Island here. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before in a dungeon? Yes. Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, you, and you think you finally met your match, if you got a fairy with you, then you got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fry? Well, I have one bottle. You want to go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. Okay, we can get another bottle there. <laughs> and that's all the info I've got to offer. Uh, it's it's due south, so um, we can go there. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw me some more bait in case I forget. Oh god, what's after me? Nothing. Oh, I've got a shop ship here. <laughs> In the lonely, lonely area of the sea. I guess I can buy me more bait. You have bait, right? Yeah, you do. Ah, hello. Can I buy some more all-purpose bait? Get some more points. Got 10 points. I just need 20 more points. Okay. Bye. Bye. I did spend some more money. Maybe I could grab that 200 rupees there. Uh, I'll save it. It is a hefty amount to just shove in my wallet, and then I'm probably gonna be finding a lot more money. A lot more money on the way. Hello, Lobster Rock. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna put more bait on my <laughs> button. On my buttons here. Head over to the next island. Nope, oh, the fish man's over here. They kind of move locations sometimes. Oh, stop. Boy, okay. small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want chart and information about this island. And start by opening up your sea chart. <laughs> bomb Island. <laughs> Looks like a bomb. Like, you probably guess here you probably need bombs to even do anything here. You gotta come sail these oceans on night nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw out some more bait on the water. Okay, that's a hint. We can probably see the, the spooky, something spooky. If we wait, oh, this wait is it the right half of the moon? Um, Fishman, are you seeing this? Yeah, on certain phases of the moon, certain areas, you can see something really unsettling. Even the music gets all scary. Uh, but yeah, we phase through it. We don't get cursed or anything. Oh, hello. There are some people here. Hey, have we met somewhere before somewhere? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. 
Me, I am but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts. Modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has always been to someday open up my own shop, but plans have been getting delayed and now it's been 30 years since I've started. Time certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in and day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasures in it. If you happen to have something of quality that one, that one could put on sale in the shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine product to trade. If you have something you'd like to trade, could you show it to me, please? Meanwhile, there's this, like, cursed music in the background, just like, uh... Sir, are you not concerned about what's happening in front of our eyes? Uh... So I could technically do this later, um... But if I show him the town flower... Huh? Why that? A town flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading for the sea flower? Sure, why not? Satisfactory, then my fee will be... For this, I guess 20 rupees will do. It's a deal. Thanks! That settles things. I'll give you your item as promised. Hold out both of your hands. You got the sea flower? The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far off land. Find a place to put it. Choose your, deliv choose your delivery bag on the item screen, then set the flower to Y, X, or R. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. So, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to Windfall Island Shop. How you ask? Well, my good friend, the postman will take it there for me, so I'll probably get there before you do. Just go back to Windfall and check for yourself. Okay, thanks again! Can I trade it again? I think there's another merchant you can, like, he'll give you the sea flower and then you can immediately trade it back to him and he'll give you a different flower. A sea flower, is it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for the town flower? No, thanks. Alright, I'll keep, I'll keep my sea flower. Are you sure? It's not my fault if you actually traded it later on. I have access to all the all the sea flowered, all the town flowers I want now. Uh, sir, do you need some eye drops? <laughs> to think that over there there would be such a container. Um, sir, can you like take the telescope out of your eyeball? Getting some pink eye there. All right, you did mention a container. There's a submarine there. Let's go over there, and we can get something nice. Just ignore the haunted ship. It's fine. My ship can talk. <laughs> like, my ship can talk. <laughs> like, there's not, nothing too too crazy. Go. There's an old Boca blend all lonely on the raft over there. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna steal your joy pendant and say bye. Poor guy, he's like, what? 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 <laughs> I just rob him and leave. Uh, I'll set the bait back on there. Go in here. Oh boy. I don't like the rats. The bucket blends are fine, I can deal with them. Oh, don't do kung fu! Uh... Okay, well not... Can't really complain, I guess. <laughs> We're like, where was that guy aiming? Oh, you little rat. These guys are really hard to, like, attack in these submarines. They tend to skitter across the walls and only come down when your back is turned. Oh, okay, that... That summons the chest. Usually it summons a ladder and then you go up. And then the treasure's in there, but... Down here, we got an empty bottle. Very generous. <laughs> Not a lot of fanfare, but very generous. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Uh, I guess I'll ignore, ignore the rats. Don't mind me, don't rob me. I come in peace. Oh god, it's just <laughs> trying to go after me. <laughs> I come in peace, I swear. Uh, what else is here? There, there's another lookout platform. I could mess with that one. This is an, another optional one. Uh, this one also has bombs on it. Little cannons. I can't destroy the cannons because I don't have explosives. Uh, 
But some of the lookout platforms don't even require that you destroy the cannons for the treasure, as long as you destroy the, the bokeh balloons on the top. I want to say this one has a red rupee as a prize. Lookout flower, the lookout tower by Bomb Island. Yeah, it has a chest. Just just from being in the Boca Blends. Some of them do have two chests if you also destroy the cannons. There you go, got some money. A nice little pleasant surprise. Got some allowance. Okay. Well, I, I technically don't need to come back here anymore. <laughs> Let's finish. Let us arrive at our destination. Goodbye to the ghost ship. Hey. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That's where you must go, Link. The forest haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you'll find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferrari's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. I like how you just kind of like sent us on a mission to get the pearls now. Like, at first it wasn't apparent. Like, oh, we got Din's Pearl, but... <laughs> Like, was not sure why, but now he's sending us on the mission. Like, hey, you got Din's Pearl, now go get Ferrari's Pearl. Uh, let's see, can I go around the island first before doing anything? There is something behind this island. Uh, there's a fish man here. Where'd he go? There you are. Yeah. Boy, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take you, you want a chart and information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. There we go, Forest Haven. Just wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've seen a merchant. Oh, I saw him. I've seen a merchant of incredible, incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now what could he be doing on that lonely little isle? I tell you, there's some strange folk in the world, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Right, bye. Uh, ooh, okay. So this is... <laughs> this is what, from treasure chart number 10? The, like, the one that we got from the emo kid who wanted a picture of the moon? Or was it... wait, not 10. Get a little closer to it. Beetle, no! Getting in my way. Should be 10. Do I not have it? Okay, 31, not 10. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the one that we got from the emo kid, though. Uh, I think here. There we go. Um, inside here, it's not a rupee. However, it is something greater. We got a piece of heart. We collected a total of two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a nice a nice treasure. All right. Can I cheat? <laughs> There's another island here. We can't get to it because, unfortunately, the ladder is in a precarious position. Uh, but we should still be able to get inside. With the help of some seagull buddies. Uh, but I think we have to get a little bit higher. Alright, yeah, I think it won't let me cheat. <laughs> the game won't let me cheat. I have to get higher. Not to go the long way. This is always a drag to get <laughs> to get up here. 
We have to go through here several times. Ow. Really? Okay, we got some Deku or actually I think these are called Boko Babas. Attack them. And I think we get some new spoils. We got a Boku Baba seed that you can keep it in your spoils bag. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps you can find someone who can cook it up and its magic can be unleashed. I think you can also grappling hook it. Uh, although if you kill it normally... Kill it normally, it does drop... It does drop uh, the seed with relative consistency. Oh, you're very... A lot more colorful than the Deku Babas were in Ocarina time. <laughs> it seems like a little bit more poisonous. Yeah, I'll make sure I collect enough of these. You can actually get something nice here. Oh. You wanna hit me? No? It's shy. It's a shy little locked rock. Hit me, buddy. There we go. Just the uh, bounce back the little orb rock thingy and if she doesn't hit you. And I could probably ignore this one. And it's dead. Last stretch. Alright, going all the way up into the river. Don't hit the rapids though, or else it'll it'll push you all the way back down. You'll have to you have to walk back up again. Oh, we reached the inner forest area. The forest within a tree. Where else would you have a forest on the Great Grand Ocean? This is a very interesting place. You might conjures up memories of the Kakari Forest. Um, the fact that like it barely survives on the ocean in this game, it's kind of makes it a little sad. <clears throat> and the memories of the Great Deku Tree has now turned into this thing. Hello. Uh, uh oh, he has some acne. He has a lot of it. Oh no! Ta -da, so dramatic! Oh no, what am I gonna do? Roll into them. There's some different color chews here alongside the red ones. There are also some green ones. I'll get you some new chew jelly. I got some green chew jelly. Keep it in our spoils bag. Inside green chew chews is a magical gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in its current form. Oh god, and. Can I spin? Spin! <laughs> A little bit of lag. The green choo-choo's are a little bit harder to deal with because they have like invincibility frames. Let me go collect these before they all disappear. Oh no! Got the acne back. Oh no, so sad. They're eating him. Probably what they're doing, they're trying to eat the great Deku tree. Alright, get up. I think hitting it with the grappling hook does give you a little bit of like stun room and then you can like quickly hit it. There's a better item to stun him with that we'll get in the next dungeon. Oh, hello. What? You, what? Your appearance. Could you be the legendary hero of time? Did the king finally find the hero of time? <laughs> like it's just like okay. What? You don't understand the Hylian language. So you are not the hero of time. Oh, poor guy. I must apologize. I was an error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. 
Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Mm, it was, yes. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have needed the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters have begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. Yes, I guess the Deku Tree would be someone very much acquainted with, um, with Ganon or Ganondorf. Although, in this universe, I think he's a Deku Tree Sprout. That was an Ocarina of Time. This is, I think he's, like, all grown up now. Um, but I like to think all the great Deku Trees, like, probably share memories. <laughs> in that case, we must make haste. Horrocks, little children of the woods! This traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Oh, hello. They look a lot different <laughs> than they did in Ocarina Time. Uh, think of Koroks, I think of the little Kokairi children. Uh, but yeah, they look a little bit more... A little bit more woody. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the Korok spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Although, <laughs> in Breath of the Wild, they still look like this. Uh, I guess they just like the design. Uh, I kind of have a headcanon where um, they look like the little, the little forest children, the Kokairi. Um, they only took those forms, maybe, because um, Link... In Ocarina of Time, he was raised in the forest, so maybe the De Great Deku Tree is like, alright, I need I need people that like kind of look like Hylians to raise this like little Hylian boy, so he didn't feel like a complete outcast, <laughs> and like kind of would fit in with people later on. So I like to think the Great Deku Tree uses magic to make the Koroks look like little Kairi children, uh, but then since like the hero like grew up, he left. Um, he didn't need to use that magic anymore, so like that kind of little little glamour spell like wore off, and now they just look like little forest people. Now they fear people, but to me they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, we have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate can befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Uh, we are not. Oh, great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It's Bakar, Bakar! What it is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. D -d -d no! It's not that, oh great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods! Gasp. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, have you heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the Hallowed Island. Of our forest haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they've taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. It is fate. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? <laughs> that was shameless. Even in the radar, like, uh, you know what? You guys are kids. We're gonna help. You're gonna, we're gonna try to solve our own problems, but we still, like, went ahead and snuck and dealt with their problem anyway. But now these guys are just like, can you rescue that little forest kid for us, please? We can't do much about it. I'm kind of rooted here. The great Deku tree. People could uh, fly through the air. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It's not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Are you calling me fat? Yet, we may still be able to solve this dilemma. 
You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. That sounds exciting. Like, oh boy, can I fly? Meanwhile, the great Taker Tree looks like he's about to take a dump. <laughs> and then, like, just like a little leaf comes out. <laughs> like, all that pushing! <laughs> and that little thing came out. <laughs> Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Or, I don't know, could one of the Koroks just, like, pick it up and give it to me? No? Th that would- that would be the obvious answer? <laughs> Fine. All right. Ugh, I guess I just, I guess I'm gonna talk to him. You will need magic power to use my leaf. You can find magic jars and grass clumps and vases after you defeat monsters. You must build up your reserves of magic power and use that leaf to fly from high cliffs of my forest haven over to the forbidden woods. Yep. All right. I will go up and climb that. The forbidden woods were once your home. They were peaceful back then. I would guess that her home should still exist somewhere within the woods. Oh, dude, did you live there? If you have trouble anywhere in the forest, just look for stump-shaped houses. I guess that's kind of a hint. A lot of the treasure chests in that dungeon are shaped in those little huts. Go with a little, little colorful firefly there. I'll probably pick this up. This is actually used- This was used for an old side quest, but you can still get a reward for picking it up. Hello, are you Linder? You have the butterfly face. We Koroks pass most of our days far away from our sacred forest haven. Raising new trees to foster healthy forests on the many islands of the Great Sea. Today is the day we return to our home for our annual ceremony. <clears throat> but poor Makar. Poor dumb Makar. Please, please greet swordsman. Please save our brother Makar. Why did he go over there? Is he stupid? <laughs> I guess if they had houses there, maybe he was looking for something there. Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. Alright. It's like technically a store in here, but not really a store because we don't use currency in here. Hello, swordsman! You seem to be in high spirits. As for me, I'm using the fruit of the forest to create potions. I'm called Hollow. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know! If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you'll surely need a potion that can replenish it. Then, if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. But if I had seeds from the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, then maybe I can make a potion for you. Do you know about those seeds? The, with the, the flower monsters? The Boko Babas that are literally, like, outside? Like, they're literally outside of the forest. <laughs> you know, I, I don't even have to go to the Forbidden Woods for it. They're literally right outside your door. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have the Boku Baba seeds. Like how it gives you also a chart, like, hey, like this turns into this, also turns into that. Can I go in the pot? I wanna jump in. Okay, does it let me? <laughs> also, this area here. This kind of remind me of the, the tree hollow that was in, like, the harvest tree. The harvest sprite tree that was in A Wonderful Life. Even has a giant Mr. Potts in here. But I didn't have to eat anything weird to hallucinate in here. There you go. I got some Boko Baba seeds. Oh! That's... that's a Boko Baba seed! That's it! That's what I need to make that kind of super replenishing potion that would help you, swordsman. Alright, I'm gonna use four of your seeds to create a super replenishing potion. Please wait just a moment. Right, he's, gonna he's gonna shimmy his way up. Watch him do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Jala Manjala Choe! What? Alright, the magic. <laughs> Wiggles over. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, it's ready. Here you go. Yeah, uh -huh. You got some blue potions. Set it to Y, X, or R and uses it to replenish both life energy and magic power. Keep it in your bottle until you need it. That'll be useful, because they just say I'm gonna need magic power soon. <laughs> Come see me again after you gather more seeds. I'll be waiting. Uh, but truthfully, I probably won't even need the blue potion. Uh... I don't know, the game is pretty generous about giving you magic pots. Uh, in the grass and stuff when you need it. 
It's good in a pinch, though, to have something that can replenish your magic. Hello, you're floating there. I borrowed your floaty powers so you can grab that leaf up there. We Koroks can fly through the sky using our own Deku leaves. We Koroks are very light. You look like you weigh a lot more than we do. Do you think you'll be alright? Are you calling me fat, sir? I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a human boy with bones. I'm just big boned. Instead of having wood and sap. Do you know about this flower? It's called a Baba Bud. You can stand in front of it and tilt the left stick to jump into it. Baba Buds have this peculiar habit of shooting you up into the air after you jump into them. So you can use them to jump up to hard to reach places. Alright, hint. This <laughs> also looks like it would probably, like, consume you. Like a Venus flytrap or something. <laughs> but now just head in there. Maybe they don't- maybe they don't like the taste of people. Or Koroks. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. Oh, he called me a knight. You should uh, shoot up facing the wrong direction. Don't panic. If you don't tilt the left stick in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Button. Then you can think. Uh, but if you do, if you do press the wrong direction, you will jump out and you will break your knees. Ooh, all right. Let's keep going higher and higher. A little bit higher. Alright, almost there. <laughs> one more! One more bow! You got the Deku Leaf! Set it and use it with Y, X, or R. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly over there over there to here using your deku leaf. Like how there's also an arrow like <laughs> like this way. But I'm gonna ignore the arrow and I'm gonna go this way. Because there's something nice here. Can I need to get into my items? <laughs> the bag is open. Alright, luckily the little Baba Buds also recover our magic. Our leaf does use little minuscule amounts of magic, although if you're trying to float a long distance... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you might not be able to go a distance with the amount of magic that we have right now. Um, although hitting the grass, there's little magic pots that... That will easily replenish things for us. Uh, okay, so we got up here. I think I might have to fly there. Unless... Uh, will you let me... A seagull? No seagull. Like, I think I have to float down there first. Uh, not that one. Winds, Requiem... <laughs> a few times where I have to change the wind direction now. Alright, let's point it this way. to break my knees. Is there more magic in here? I hope there is. If not, uh, there'll probably be, there'll probably be more. <laughs> magic? Okay, well, I will have to climb up the this tree to get back into the forest haven anyway. Hello, sir. You are not a Korok. You're incredible. Did you f just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever! Hey, if you can fly, do you think you can maybe hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it. Just over there, up top towards the forest haven. You have a telescope. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? <laughs> I use the camera more often, but yeah, there's a switch there. You can either, if you have projectiles like arrows, you can hit it, or... I didn't mean to use that button. We have a, you have a seagull. Okay, good. The seagulls do reach over here. If you have a seagull, you can use it to hit the switch as well. There we go. <laughs> I was like, uh... It's an invisible lip there. And the ladder comes back down so I can get back on that island without having to float down here. Whee! There you go. Okay. That's a nice jump. 
Can I go any farther? That I'm stuck. Okay. I wanted to explore a little bit more, but the seagull does have a range. It's like it's automatically pulling me back, so. Let's head into the Palace of Figurines, the Nintendo Gallery. Membership required to enter. Membership being hit the switch. Finally, I can unload my unload the pictures I have in my camera. So you were a member this whole time. Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you, I got in because got in and became a member too. Check it out! I gave this guy a pictograph and he gave me this figurine in return. Talk about cool. This is all the rage. Welcome! Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery, Figurine Palace. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction, I hope? Uh, I don't have a letter or anything. <laughs> oh well, no worries. One way or the other, we've been losing members due to our lack of gimmicky attractions. Do people even know that you're here? But we don't, wor but we don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor pictograph that steals my breath away, then you'll become a member and you'll become able to view the collection in our galleries. Won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? And yes, you have to have color pictographs. Um, in the GameCube version, um, at this point in the game, you would be able to get a color pictograph because you would be able to go in the forest haven, get a colorful flyer fly, fly, deliver it all the way back to Windfall. <laughs> to upgrade it so, but in this game, they let you upgrade it early uh, on your first visit to Windfall. Also, I like all the little extra things that they have in there. Cuckoos? How do you know what a cuckoo looks like? There's no chickens in this game. It's like this old cuckoo sign. All like a bunch of masks from Majora's Mask. Yeah, like the Bunny Hood, All Knight's Mask, Goron Mask, Keaton Mask. Like those little blowfish drums that were in Majora's Mask. Some other little statue things up there that technically don't exist in this world. And until we get all the pearls. Yeah, a lot of hints. Also, a little cow, little cow poster. There's no cows in this game. Alright, so we can show him pictographs. Ah, ha, hmm. This is quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Link? Link, is it? Well, Link, this officially marks your induction into our little club. That easy. I think it should be done with this by tomorrow. I'll have to ask you to be patient until then. I think you can keep giving him stuff, too. Let's unload all of them. Ha ah, ha. Ah, hmm. That's quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah! I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. Figurine making requires love and time. You have to wait until tomorrow. All right, so let's just keep keep unloading them. It's the fish man. This is very hard to make, hard to take pictograph. And th I think you'll take all twelve. Not like the old game where you could take three. Oh yes, please make make Goma, make the boss monster, please. Not even questioning where I got this. Like, you didn't die taking this picture? Alright, fine. <laughs> Here's Volu. <laughs> I like how he only has the head of Volu, but it's still good. You could still sculpt the rest of it. Uh, here's... what was it? I like to call them little baby gomas, little baby lava gomas, but I think the actual name of this... What was it called? Uh, if you don't know, the sculptor will tell you. <laughs> this is underneath Magtail. Yeah, I wouldn't guess that. I guess Magma Tail. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. They just look like baby Gomas, though. Because Goma is like a scorpion in this one. <laughs> the bat, not even in the frame. Here you go. <laughs> Have a bat. <laughs> Next, I have a Kargarok. Hurrah! And then you can have- oh yeah, good old Kogoli. <laughs> big, big a sculptor of Kogoli, because this guy does disappear. Uh, once you get <clears throat> to the Earth Temple portion of the game. So I definitely want to get his picture, pictograph out of the way. 
Uh, here's Kaboli. I don't think he has any relation, but <laughs> this name does rhyme. Here's Medley, who's off learning. <laughs> I was, like, was going to say Shrine Maiden stuff. I don't think she's technically a Shrine Maiden. She's Valu's attendant. And then here we go, Prince Komali. Just on a quest to get his scale, so he's not available to take pictures of until later. <laughs> I have to wait till tomorrow to see them, but yeah, the, they'll be deposited in, the, in these little rooms. Each room has a theme. Uh, let us let's change the day. <clears throat> I might not see all of them. I might wait for like a room to be complete before checking out all the figures. Is that good enough, or do I have to wait a full cycle? I might have to wait a full cycle. Nope, okay. I have to wait another full cycle. I have to wait till night. Let's get some figurines made, too. One more time. There you go. Are you done now? Welcome, Link. Your figuring based request of his has been fulfilled. It's been a long time since I've done work this exceptional. Go in that door there to check it out. I was completely overcome with the creative urge after seeing what you gave me. I ended up making lots of figurines. But all that artistic spirit made me a little absent-minded, so I don't exa exactly remember which rooms I placed them all in. Why don't you go and have a look inside? If you only made a few figurines, like, that were in, like, one room, you would remember, but yeah, since we gave him 12 pictures that, like, are all scattered around, he's not gonna remember where. Uh, if I want- I can actually make two more pictographs. Uh, these guys are also included in the Nintendo gallery. Are you saying my fans want this figurine? Wow, that golden, freshly brushed hair! That stylish yet unassuming bod! <laughs> Why, this is- uh, this is an almighty handsome man! Mercy, my very soul compels me to make a figurine of this picture. Please permit me to sculpt this, it'll be a jewel of a figurine! Figurine making requires love and time, you have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're gonna get. <laughs> and I can also take a picture of him. It's also part of the gallery. Beautiful, breathtaking, sublime! The shiny pupil, the smooth, supple skin. Who is this, and where can I find such a beauty existing in the world? Why, this is beauty incarnate! Mercy, my heart bubbles over with an undeniable compulsion to create a figurine of this work of art. Very narcissistic. Please permit me to sculpt this, it'll be a jewel of a figurine! Figurine making requires love and time, you have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> I like it only just like... Show him a boss monster, he's like, oh, this is great. Show him himself, he's like, oh my god, this is beautiful Adonis here. Let's check out the rooms. There we go. In the Forsaken room, we have good old Goma here. You can also have a little description here. Goma, habitat, Dragoner's Island, effective weapon, grappling hook. If we didn't know that, we wouldn't have gotten to this point. <laughs> this gigantic shelled lo- like, gi bleh, words. Gigantic shelled insect inhabits areas of lava and magma. The only way to penetrate its hard bio-armor would be to drop an entire sheet of bedrock on it. We can take a look around. Very massive. I don't know how he managed to sculpt the rest of the body when all I got was the head, but okay. But yeah, as we, as we keep giving him pictographs, this room is going to fill up. That's like the boss monster room. There's also rooms with like regular monsters in there. There's rooms dedicated to Dragon Roost, a room dedicated to Windfall, a room dedicated to Outset, our little hometown. We got some monsters in there. I'll probably take a look around like once we like fill up the room though, instead of doing like 
figure by figure. I think some figurines do actually change, though. As we progress the story. Like Prince Komali. He does grow up a little bit. Oh, he actually shows his grown-up form. It's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> but yeah, like, the, there are some other forms of characters that we haven't seen yet. I like how his hair turns white. I don't know, maybe, like, fledglings only have brown hair, although Medley has big ol' head of brown hair. Birthplace, a dragon or Island, a personality of mama's boy. Kamali had a very had very little confidence in himself, thus closed himself off from the world outside of his tribe's airy. With just a little help from Link, though, he has regained his confidence and has last begun to show signs of being a confident and mature Rito adult. Okay. I got Velo. How's he floating? Yeah, all the figurines. All the figurines are will slowly and surely fill up fill up these rooms. All right. Wow. We've been going for quite a while. Uh I do want to take some more pictographs. I wonder if I should do that in the next episode. Um Where's my boat? My boat should be here. My knees. You kind of want to go around and just like take pictures of everybody. You can take a picture of Beetle. Uh, I would recommend probably getting pictures of the Koroks now, because once you do the dungeon and save Makar, um, they're gonna scatter. They're gonna scatter to the four winds, and it'll just be a little bit annoying to get them. I don't want to sell this. You only buy them. <laughs> I don't want to sell it. I want to take a picture of you. <laughs> Face the other way and turn around. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of Beetle while <laughs> while he's here. <laughs> Let's go around just getting pictures of like the Forest Haven residents, and I'll I'll turn those in, and maybe call it a day, and then next episode we'll. <laughs> Trying to be fast and sneaky. Maybe not. Make us angry. Oh good, there's some magic here. A leaf. I can use the leaf to like kinda stun. <laughs> Kind of stunned the Boko Baba. <laughs> Hello. Would you like a photograph too? Oh, baby, baby Octorok. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's gonna, gonna get back. Okay. Back. Back in the forest haven. Okay. Too Link is too short. <laughs> Link is too short to climb that. I'm gonna- we're on a pictograph adventure. Let's take a picture of this handsome fellow. There we go. Got great Deku tree. And then we gotta get all the Koroks. Oh, let me make sure he's like the only one in the frame. Like all these, all these guys have names too. Oh, what was this guy's name? Is it like, like based off his leaf? Uh, let's see. I, we know Linder. We got introduced to Linder, but I think all of the other names are like based off trees. I think this one's not Elma. I think this one's Aldo. Where are you, Linder? Now the lender had the butterfly face. This is Oaken. Oaken of the oak. We can also take a picture of Hollow. In his little, in his little house. Although Hollow doesn't leave. Hollow, Hollow stays behind once they do the ceremony. He's, he's the potion master. No, I don't, don't, don't cook it. 
Don't mm -hmm. don't need you to cook that. I do need you to face the camera though. Jeez. And there's another guy floating around here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not good. Moving too much. Okay, turn your butt around, sir. I need to see your face. Oh my god, why is it so hard? Maybe I should just talk to him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's all I needed to do to get a picture of... Who's this guy again? Drona? At least I don't have to collect 500 of these guys. With their own unique name. I don't think they even did that in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it was just like, Korok number... 290. You are a very unique looking one with the long leaf. Your urch. Do, do, do. What? Uh, I don't think I need to go that high. Okay, yeah, I just I just need to get to that arrow. I think this is high enough. This is way high enough. Do 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 do. Like very similar to another Deku. I took a picture down there. You kind of look like, kind of like Drona, but you are you're Ronin, Ro Rowan. Not not Rowan, not the tree Rowan. A play on words for Rowan. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> That's where we need to go. Another fellow there. Although my camera is about to fill up, I might have to grab that last one. <laughs> Need to drop off, drop off my film, and then, and then take him on my way there. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You are already mastered using the deck leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. <laughs> Definitely need magic. <clears throat> You're the last buddy, Mr. Lily Pad Face. Who are you? I think you're Elma. I wonder if I can make it over there. I don't think the game wants me to go over there, but. Yeah, I'm gonna need more magic <laughs> to go to go on that island. The game wants me to go to that island over there. Yeah, I actually might be able to make it to that one. I might be in trouble if I fall in the water. Uh, but I think in this instance I will void out. I'll void out and go back up here. Let's try. Doesn't hurt to try. All you do is lose this time. There's a chest over there. I'm definitely not supposed to be here yet. got a treasure chart cool all right got this a little earlier <laughs> a little earlier than intended this is treasure chart number is number three of all things uh, oh that's that's near a fairy island is it rupees i forgot if it was rupees or a heart i think being near a heart island would make sense if it gave me a heart treasure chart number three Oh, 
Okay, yeah, we could technically get this now. Yeah, 200 rupees on Eastern Fairy Island. We'll bump into that. Uh, can I get out of here? <laughs> I might be able to float over. Get some, get some magic. I'm pretty sure if I hit the water though, it's gonna void me out. As, as like an emergency measure. I don't like that angle. Let's make a better angle. North. I like north better. I'm approaching this island very weird direction. Oh, it didn't void me out. Sweet. <laughs> It's gonna not drown. Okay. Oh. Hello. Gotta drop off all these pictographs. And then probably stop for the day. I'm going for, going for an hour. Let's, uh, let's turn it... Let's turn it... Not that way. Let's complete a day cycle so he can finish his beautiful visage and then I can give him... I can just throw those 12 pictographs at him. Because I think it can only hold up to 12. And then I can... Uh, next episode, I will, like, get to the Forest Haven Island. And I can focus on, like, taking pictures of all the monsters in there. And the boss. Whew. There we go. Welcome, Link. Your figurine-based request has been fulfilled. I know I always say this, but this is some of my- some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door to check it out. I was completely overcome with the creative urge after seeing what you gave me. I ended up making lots of figurines. He doesn't know which room. I only give you two, and I think they're both in the forest haven. <laughs> Alright. Give pictures of middle magical Korok people. Oh, oh, hmm. I wish there was an option to be like, select all. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if like, people could actually like, rip the files. Out of this- out of this game for, like, the figurines, because they're 3D models that he's making. It'd be kind of cool if, like, people could rip- rip the files and, like, use it to 3D print their own figurines. Uh, they probably wouldn't support, like, modern 3D printers, but... <laughs> maybe in the future, like, when 3D printing is, like, more readily available, maybe- maybe Nintendo will offer, like, a 3D printer attachment. Like they did with, like, the Game Boy, like, camera printer. <laughs> Like, yeah, you can, you can, you can 3D print your own figurines from the game. You just have to buy this Nintendo brand 3D printer and get Nintendo brand... Like, I don't know what they use to, like, load up the printer. Like, the plastic goo. But here's the Deku Tree. It's gonna be a very tall figurine. Octorok. I, I guess that that technically does not live in the forest haven. It just happens to be here. And this is a monster. And then here's Beetle. He's not a monster. <laughs> he lives in many places. Okay. We gave it. We gave him all that. <laughs> well, sometimes if you if you expect to like go off exploring other places, you can just you can just like let him cook for a while. Just leave. I can I can like let him finish though. Cause we aren't 
technically gonna be leaving the zone. But say like if we're heading to Windfall or something. A day is probably gonna pass pass between then. Hmm, I wonder if I can take a picture of this blasted seagull. Oh, oh! Really? That wasn't good enough? Oh my god. The, does the butt count? That counts. That counts. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna count. It's too far away. <laughs> okay, I I'm gonna have to take a picture of him closer. <laughs> Alright, I think he's like... Other than my car, that, that little red leaf one is... Pretty much, pretty much the last guy I need to take a picture of. And my car isn't that hard to, to capture because he doesn't he doesn't go anywhere until later. Here, you can have the pee hat. And you have a picture of the seagull. It's another hard one to get. It's kind of, it's kind of similar difficulty as the fish man. Except you're not fighting gravity as much with the fish man. Okay. I kinda wanna make it today. Uh, I like I like daytime better, because I can hear the forest haven music. Alrighty. I think I'll save, quit. They'll probably dump me out over there. Although my boat's here. Yeah, I'll I'll end things off here. And the next episode will probably start me off down there, because that's usually where the save point is. And yeah, we'll have to we'll have to climb back up. We'll have to go to the evil, the forbidden woods. I like how it's kind of a mirror image of each other. We have like what I'm guessing is the great Deku tree from the old game, just hollowed out, containing the new Deku tree. It's kind of like a protective protective shell and now like, what, what, where did that come from? Was there like an evil Deku tree? <laughs> like, for that, that now made the Forbidden Woods? It makes me think, like, is the Forbidden Woods supposed to be the Lost Woods? But they also said that they used to live there, so maybe it's like, it was like another Deku tree, probably, that they had their houses in, uh, but then just became corrupted. Ganon's evil influence. Anywho, yeah. We'll stop here. <laughs> the the pictograph collecting is gonna take a lot of time, so we'll head over to that dungeon, take more pictures, and enjoy all that shenanigans. We'll we'll keep better track as well. Uh, Cause yeah, when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I was kind of like trying to remember where all the NPCs were, and like I was I didn't keep very good track of like who I already got, so I'd, I'd end up taking like doubles of like everybody and like having to go, go back here and turn it in it's just, like a very long process that was even worse because you can only hold up to three pictographs all right anyway i'm just babbling at this point i hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time and i'll see you in the next episode oh bye bye